HuffPost Women has come up with a definitive list of the 23 things that you should <laughs> stop doing if you are a woman. It's interesting that, I mean, we have the women's vertical, mm -hmm. so we're talking about this just for women. I feel like a lot of these can go for men too, but so yeah. many of them are so women-centric. Number one is stop apologizing on the time. Yeah, I think that, in, you know, research has shown that women are actually more likely to apologize uh, than men are. And I think often to our detriment, you're kind of qualifying what you're saying. So obviously, if you make a mistake, take it, you know, responsibility for it. That's great. But no need to be apologizing 50 times a day. So often we apologize when we haven't made mistakes. Oh, yeah, all the sorry time. Sorry you have to do this. Sorry you had to pick this up. Sorry. It, we just, exactly. sorry is an automatic response. Right. So number two and three on the list, I think, really go hand in hand, saying yes to everyone else and saying no to yourself. I, I know I do this all the time. Oh, me too. Um, I think that there's like such a tendency for us to just say yes, you know, oh, oh, I do have this like 30 minute window of time and you're asking me if I want to do something. Yes, of course I do, because I physically have that time instead of really thinking about, do I want to do this? Is this what really going to like serve my life best? And usually, you know, people aren't going to be that offended if you say no to them. And I think there's like a fear of, of offending someone or always wanting to be accommodating. And obviously, this doesn't go for every single man or woman. But I think that it's pretty, it's pretty common. Like, I know I do it. Do you do it if someone says to you, do you want to get a drink after work? And all you really want to do is go home because you're freaking tired. Do you just say yes and suck it up? No, that I'm very good at saying no to. That I just say yes. I'll yeah. just yes to death or me pray too. that I can make up some valid excuse because you don't right. offend someone. You and it's not, I don't want to see you for a drink, which is no. what you think they're going to take it as. It's, I'm just really tired. Exactly. <laughs> I, would say work, I would say I overextend myself in, with work stuff. I, I say yes to everything that's work-related. Mm -hmm. I rarely say no to anything. Side projects, actually on the job, I rarely say no to anything because I think I'm actually just terrified that it'll all go away at one point. I can certainly, I can certainly Living in fear. Yeah. But before we continue on Therapy Thursday with Ricky today, let's move through the list. Very therapy. Number yeah. four, viewing food as the enemy. This is a big one. Yeah, this is a big one for a lot of women. Um, I think that we kind of are live in a society where women are sort of told that their looks are what make them worthwhile in a lot of ways. So it kind of takes the joy out of food if you're constantly freaked out about weight or what it's going to say about you or there's a need to kind of talk about it like oh i'm gonna eat this piece of chocolate cake because i'm going to the gym later or we look at a food as like oh that's a like bad food and that's a good they're food. gonna look at exactly. you exactly and it's chocolate cake it's just a terrible habit and something that i think is worth reminding ourselves to stop doing mm -hmm. how about number six i love this one feeling like an imposter when you accomplish something professionally explain this one yeah so imposter syndrome is actually a real thing that there's been quite a bit of research on and it affects men and women but women somewhat more